Hi, this is the Eternal King, bringing you another LOR video today. So I wanted to revisit one of my favorite subjects, um, which is the Deep Equation. So Deep is probably one of the hardest decks to make work in Eternal. Um, just but from a pure, pure numbers perspective, um, on Mastering Runeterra, I believe it has less than a 40% win rate. Um, it's sitting at like 38%. It is objectively one of the worst decks that you can play in Eternal. So I've spent a very uh, long amount of time kind of perfecting deep for Eternal, figuring out what's going to work, what's not going to work, um, uh, essentially for the meta. And um, what I found is, 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 you know, that a lot of my card choices so far have been spot on, but I, but I wasn't quite there in some regards. So again, Dredge Dredgers is a 3 of, mandatory. Tossing 3, being a 2-1, very good card. Sea Scarab lets you toss faster. I mentioned before that Soul Harvest is one of the best cards you can run in deep. Essentially allowing you to remove certain key champions, things like Nilla, um, Elise, Misfortune, all that good stuff. Even an Illoy, um, Soul Harvest to stonks in deep. You don't really have anything else you want to be doing with a spell mana. Um... Vile Feast is your main anti-aggro tool, so a very, very good card. Um, I've also come around on Thorny Toad. So Thorny Toad was buffed. Um, if you know old school Toad, Toad used to be a 1-4 um, with the same last breath effect, and that was useless. Um, a 1-4 is never good for anything in LOR unless it happens to be a two-mana champion that gets you a ping um, in the case of, you know, PNZ. But uh, the buff Thorny Toad, very, very good. Um, I'm actually come around on this card quite a bit. Uh, I had a game where I literally out aggroed um, uh, Karma. So Car uh, Karma set, you know, being a, a decent eternal deck, not amazing, but being acceptable. Um, I literally, ant ant you know, I just out aggroed them. Um, and they couldn't actually, you know, I went six wide essentially with just like board tokens and I won. Now, obviously the deck is designed to do very well into aggro. Um, things like Illoy, um, uh, you know, Illoy Blade Dance. No, sorry, not Illoy. <laughs> Illoy was on my mind because of, I was talking about this card being killed by um, Soul Harvest. But obviously I'm talking about Azir Aurelia. Um, this deck is designed to do very well into Azir Aurelia. Um, it's designed to do very well into Ziggs Poppy, um, and sort obviously any sort of other aggro, um, meta deck that is, you know, burn, basically an aggro start with a burn finish, um, this deck is going to do pretty well into it because it is just mostly healing. Um, you know, it's basically board spammy, uh, creatures with a massive amount of healing, some amount of, and a decent spell interaction, but the Soul Harvest Vial and Undergrowth being the three, um, anti-aggro tools there very very good so great into aggro um can actually aggro down uh bad control decks not good ones mind you um and so you know having that exact uh combination of board pressure and anti-aggro tools and then obviously your typical advantages of deep which is the Mulkai mill and then your big um sea creature finish abyssal eye devour nautilus um mega tusk and sea scarab all gets getting very very large um, I'm a big fan of Salvage as a three of, um, I just, again, there are awkward hand states where I, in deep, and I find that Salvage is the best way to spend that spell mana when your opponent's basically not doing anything. You can just draw two, toss two, it's good enough. Um, Salvage is good enough. So I feel like this deep equation is good. It, it is quite strong. I don't think there's any other way I'd rather be running this deck. And then the one ship recorder obviously is stonks for treasure. Um, it just high rolls sometimes. Um, the best thing to do with Shipwreck Hoarder is to play it right at the moment that it triggers deep. So it tosses two when it comes into play and then shuffles in the treasures um, for after your deep. So um, that's the best way to play Shipwreck Hoarder is a one-off there. Everything about this deck is perfect. I've got nothing, you know, no complaints, nothing else I'd want to do. Um, I don't think we're in a Vengeance meta right now, um, personally. I, I th you know, uh, Vengeance being very good into stuff like Hecarim. Um, big, you know, uh, Jax Orn, so very good into Orn. Like, any of the big champions that kind of swing and win the game, Vengeance is a must-have. Um, Illoy is a good example. Um, you know, Gangplank, Viego, all this stuff. Like, most of this stuff isn't great in Eternal. Um, just going big isn't great in Eternal. Obviously, Vengeance is good for killing Nautilus in the mirror, but you're never going to reach the deep mirror, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, most of the time, Devourer is just better. It's just flat-out better. So yeah, very happy with this list. Um, I think I have kind of solved the deep equation um, in Eternal, and it is all just thanks to the Thorny Toad buff, other than um, and, you know Thorny Toad, Soul Harvest, 
and you know just good deep stuff salvage you know three salvage three thorny toad three soul harvest i think that's all very non-standard for the way that deep runs these days um but it feels very good you know, it feels very good in you know on top of the stuff that you would normally be running which is the mega tusk the abyssal eye and the devourer uh so yeah that's the deep equation i, I think i've solved it finally um feels good It'll feel good into aggro. It'll feel good into um, bad control decks. It'll feel good into a lot of things. Uh, this is Eternal King signing out.